Number one, for the general election, we must get a method which, is, which does not allow cheating, whether people are vigilant or not. And that is the digital, we must have digital recognition of voters using the biometric. Uh -huh. This was supposed to be done in the previous elections, but the corrupt fellows who were in the, in the electoral commission, who were sacked recently, they bought machines which did not do this. They are now looking for the machines where you will put your fingerprint, because fortunately God helped us, but we don't want to be helped. Apparently, my fingerprint is not the same thing is not the same as Kaguta's, nor the same as Esteri's. Mine is unique; theirs are unique. So God has really helped us. The fingerprints are not, never the same. Even twins, apparently, their fingerprints are different. So this machine, which you recognize the different fingerprints. And if you try to vote to register in two places, the, 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 machine, the, the system will discover you automatically. That means you will eliminate so many problems. First of all, we eliminate multiple registration. We eliminate multiple voting. We eliminate Voter, voter staffing, vote, uh, vo, vo, uh, ballot staffing, because if, if we voted each one with his fingerprint, they are all in the computer. Uh, 1,000 people voted at the polling station. These are the fingerprints which are there. Where did the extra 500 votes come from? If we find that in the box, there are 1,500, and yet the people who digitally voted were only 1,000. So we are really going to get rid of this uh, uh, cheating uh, uh, technologically for the national, for the national. Uganda has been trying to deal with since 1961. The problem of rigged elections I have sent out a, a message on the social media which gives the history of rigging. It started in 1961, where you would have multiple. First of all, the voting was hidden. <laughs> there was a, they would construct a kasakate, a, kasakate, uh, a temporary enclosure where the boxes would be hidden. So the voter just goes there alone. So some go with, with, with a lot of ballot boxes, papers in their pocket. So there are so many. I, I remember my friend, the late Kategaya, who was in a party which didn't mind about rigging. So. When we came into government, in 19, we had elections in 1962. We never had any other elections until 1980, after 18 years. Now, when we were preparing for the new elections, we tried to have electoral reforms. But our partners at that time didn't listen. So we went on with all those mi mistakes, the gerrymandering of constituencies, voting in a hidden way, uh, the, 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 the multiple, multiple ballot papers, and so on. And the results were the 1980 elections, which were just a sham. Now, when we came, 1989, when we were expanding the NRC, 
immediately we said the elections must be protected. People should choose the party they want and the individuals they want without any pressure, without any manipulation, without any, uh, any coercion. So that people, the elected leaders, concentrate on doing what the people want and they, then they elect people with, with, with affection rather than being coerced or being marginalized. That's what, that's what one of the parties used to say. One of the parties in 1980 used to say, we, we shall be in power whether you vote for us or not. How would you be in power if we don't vote for you? What they meant was that they would cheat. Now, they didn't they did know the consequence of that. And indeed, they, they cheated, but the consequences were not good. We had, we had sorted it out using the hard way. So when we came, number one, all constituencies had to coincide with administrative boundaries. There was no, no question of getting one sub-county here, putting it with another sub-county in another, another county so that you create a, a temporary constituency. Who said no? In fact, Hai Chigong is here. 1989, there were 149 constituencies that NRC. And those constituencies coincided with 149 counties of that time. A constituency must coincide with the existing administrative units. Now, when we went for the CA, the 149 constituencies, which were then the counties that time, the Honorable Sam Juba, who was the Minister of Constitutional Affairs, pointed out that these 149, some have got small population, like, like Clark, Clark County in, in, in Gulu, had 16,000 people. But Bukoto in the massacre had 360,000 people. But they all had one, one MP. So the only of Sam Juba talked, pointed out that there was under-representation and over-representation. So we said, okay, that's no problem. That's how we broke Bukoto into four now. Bukoto, Bukoto this, Bukoto that, Bukoto that. Uh -huh. So that, but when breaking up Bukoto, we made sure that the sub-counties which are near become Bukoto East. Then the other ones Bukoto something else, like that, the sub-counties. Uh -huh. 